when he knew they were going to die because when they'd come to him, one eye would go this way and one eye would go this way. I'm Dr. Dan Scow from Fairmont, Minnesota. Uh, I practiced as a veterinarian in the Fairmont community for approximately 43 years and I'm now retired and now I'm in charge and run a company called International Ag Labs which I own in Fairmont, Minnesota. About seven years ago I had a gentleman stop to my uh, office from uh, South Africa and he was uh, tied into or tapped into all the latest technology with the use of the GMO uh, cropping system and also with the latest in the herbicides and this type thing and, and a, a big user of glyphosate. Uh, both the dairy and the swine operation were having a lot of uh, problems with health. He had currently had 50 employees on his farms. He would lose one to two employees a month that would die. When he knew they were going to die because when they'd come to him, one eye would go this way and one eye would go this way. And he says every time he's seen one of his employees do that, usually they were dead within 24 to 48 hours. No, Doc, he said, I, I'm at a loss. He says, you've mentioned so many things and we've discussed so many things. Can you simplify your recommendations down to one single thing? And I said, oh, that's real easy to do. And he says, well, what's that? And he said, well, I says, go home and don't ever plant a GMO crop again, ever. He did go home and he did do that within 60 days after these help got on non-GMO corn, they quit dying.